Hi everybody, it's Dr. Freddy here for this week's episode of Dr. Freddy Said So. And uh, today's topic is on Parkinson's disease. It's a disease that's aff afflicting tens of thousands of people around the world. And it's one that's become very famous through uh, Muhammad Ali, who passed away just recently. But it's something that obviously touches a lot of us even more personally than that. And so I'm joined here through uh, my patients, Georgina and her husband, Steve. And uh, they've been patients here for like two years now. More right? than two years, more than two years. Yeah, and so Georgina, tell us, uh, or Steve, a little bit about uh, when you noticed some of the Parkinson's concerns with Steve, kind of what life was like before meeting us. Well, okay, if you want to start. Okay, yeah, okay, you can start. Start what? Just yeah. tell him what happened. Yeah, how was life before? You said he used to, he was working at, at Ford Motor Company oh, yeah, before, I, right? I had a farm. I working for Ford, but since I stopped working, something happened to me. I wasn't counting on it. I was counting on a healthy lifestyle and life on that. After retirement, I mean, it didn't happen that way. It went the wrong way. Why? I I don't know. So it was around 60 years old that mm -hmm. Steve mm -hmm. was diagnosed yeah, was with Parkinson's, 14, 14 right? Ago. About 14 yes. years ago. And then, what did you notice, Georgina, with him in terms of how his body was was uh, deteriorating at the time? Well, at first we we couldn't believe it what was going on. Like he he we saw the shakiness, we saw a little lots of changes in him, but then we thought that it was probably uh, damaged shoulder because he damaged shoulder uh, at Ford before, so he was going for a therapist, and we thought, oh, that's probably nerves from the shoulder. Mm -hmm. So after when they said first time. No, it's Parkinson. Like they said, they give him the uh, examination. They said you didn't because there is a examination for a stroke or the Parkinson. They said if you didn't have a stroke, that means it's a Parkinson. Mm -hmm. So then it was shock. We didn't for a, for a years. I guess we didn't kind of believe it hundred percent. So then uh, after that, when he started the medication, doing, I was doing carpentry after retirement, and uh, yeah. I, it didn't bother me too much since I was uh, working and everything else as a, you know, and uh, it, it, it happened slowly mm -hmm. and unbelievable. I, I could do anything and I was diagnosed. I still can do the jobs. I still can do the hanging the door or uh, fix, a, fix a car and uh, all kinds of jobs I, I can do. You try to keep going through yeah. it? Yeah, he was. Like, I, I would say when we came, that, that was probably, I would say, two and a half years ago, three years ago, when David started working here, and then he said, Dad, you have to go, you have to go, because what you can lose. And we actually, to tell you the truth, we didn't even consider ever before. Like, we didn't here or he, we didn't know much about the chiropractor. We went to the doctor, they give us the pills and then you try to uh, take one pill and the other and third and actually they did kind of say it wrong. They said, oh your shaking is gonna go away. His shaking is never gonna go away. No matter how much medication and even we read, I read the books and books of the Parkinson, they said them. The longer you wait to start medication, the better for you. Because once when you come to the point that you're using the medication and medication stop working. Yeah. So I do believe that's what happened, what, two and a half years ago, and he was the worst. Like when I, when we start going, David goes, Dad, you have to go. And I said, David, we don't have that much money. And now David goes, Dad, I gonna contribute my pay. Whatever I make with the Dr. Freddy, I give it to you. Just, you have to start. And uh, we did start, and like we are married 47 years this year, and like all the time I was helping him to go in a car, to get out of the car, to get, and then we see, oh my God, like, yeah, I kind of help him out of the car, but when he was going from you, like when you when you adjust him, then he was kind of going faster, he was going kind of didn't need that much help, <gasps> wow something is happening. 
So, I'm really, that, that is my story. And I, I thought, oh no, it's working. And like I said, from that, now like he goes in and out of the car, no problem. And I'm really thankful that we are introduced to the chiropractor. I'm really, and I hope and pray that we'll keep and what did your, you yeah, told me a story yeah. about you did your medical doctor that was treating the, med the medical doctor yeah. because same thing like you, you know for a quite a long time like when we when we would go because especially they want to do the operation on him and then after they said no parkinson it went advanced way too much because he was getting freeziness he goes no there is no we cannot do like the last moment because they said his mind is things got awesome Everything and they said, yeah, you are candidate for operation. The last time when we went to sign the papers, they goes, no, it's too late, kind of, it's too advanced. You got a freeziness. The operation will not help the freeziness. It would f help the shakiness, but not the freeziness. So it's no use for you. We could do worse than it's supposed to be. So, okay, he was a little bit disappointed. I wasn't. And then we start going to you. After, like I said, a year and a half after when we came again, like we go twice or three times a year to the Western. Yeah. They are pretty good, like they do their best, and many times I do phone them. And when we came and he goes, hey, what happened? Like he said, I said, thank you, because medication and everything, how many times I phoned, thank you. He said, well, I know we do their best, but we didn't see the condition reverse. We would all the time be stable, the kind of not to progress that much but with him it went better so for him it's a more than a miracle what happened so and then i said we're going to the chiropractor and everything else so then and so, you really couldn't believe but they, it but they, they were amazed they were amazed so thank you thank so you it just thank tells you. you that the power of the miracle is really not from what i did with steve but just the power that was in his body and research shows now uh, with a lot of research with people with Parkinson's that there's damage to the nervous system, especially in the upper neck and the upper cervical area, either from trauma or other causes that cause that brain stem area to be under pressure. So in addition to some of the concerns with neurotransmitters with Parkinson's, obviously any interference in the brain stem area, specifically subluxations, will affect the way the body and the nervous system is functioning and whether it results in shakiness or tremors or difficulty or slowing of speech. I know David loves to, sh to share that, you know, Steve had trouble brushing his teeth before yeah. and, and that was the greatest thing. Now he can vacuum and, and brush teeth, right? Yeah. Which helps you yeah. at home too. Yeah, yeah. Some, I can do some work. You know, he, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Wash the dishes. And, uh, That's amazing. Which I recommend it for her, but uh, she... Uh, and the most amazing thing is that the medical health doctors couldn't believe that he's getting better without the surgery, without the medications, but just with chiropractic allowing his body to heal itself. So I'm really, really thankful. I'm thankful to you, Dr. Freddy. I'm thankful to the Lord that he lead us here because there is nothing without his leading us. So what are you looking this. forward to with, other than the 50th anniversary coming up, what else can we do to keep you well for? What are you looking forward to? Well, there is uh, not much to looking forward, but uh, to stay focused and uh, do whatever is best. One day at a time. And I one got one big time. wish from dear Lord and from I hope the chiropractor gonna work and if we gonna be alive for our 50th anniversary, I plan to close our street and do the biggest party ever. Well I will and be, there. Be, I will be yes. there for that party. That is my wish and that is my prayer. Whatever he decide, I accept. And that we know is that God that has is a plan, one. and we know that uh, we do because we do have that a party, the biggest party in our street every five years. Amen. And uh, if it if it we do survive till fifty, and everything gonna be not too bad. Well, we'll I that. have faith. The way and you're going, faith. you're getting better. Do you have any? I do. With nobody have more faith like everyday prayer. Do you have That's any good. recommendations for anybody out there suffering with Parkinson's or their family, what you would recommend in terms of them investigating chiropractic? Yeah, that everybody should take the real good thing, opportunity, opportunity to get to the 
treatment which you deserve, which you think is best for you. Yeah. And then for their caregivers, no, no, Georgina? No, no, the, well, caregivers do the loss of praying that we can, we can do the best to help, help them out. But so far, like I said, he's doing excellent. And the greatest thing is, he's never bitter. He's never mad on anybody. He's never, so that's a great, great thing. It makes it my job much, much easier because he's a great guy. He was, for 47 years, he's super, and even the sickness does not change him who actually he is. Wow. And he's a great guy. Thank you guys for, uh, guy. for sharing your story. And it's not just for you, and it blesses me, but more importantly, blesses the people out there that a lot of them don't know how their bodies can heal themselves. So for those of you that have more questions about Parkinson's or know somebody that can benefit uh, from a checkup, feel free and give us a call. And, and I do I can say one more thing. Before, any, if anybody listen, if anybody is in the same boat like we were, don't start medication before you see the Dr. Freddy. Because Dr. Freddy, I do believe it's gonna stop the progression and then after, if it's necessary for a medication, go ahead. But I do believe the first thing is chiropractor. That would be much easier. Because once when you start the medication, it's not working it's as much. Yeah. It's, it's hard to go, go up. And then there is a lot of side effects. And from the chiropractor, I know you cannot go wrong. There is no side effects. There is no side effect So that's what, that's what I mean. It's good help. Please, that's a, that's a number one step. Go to the chiropractor. Thank you, Georgina. Thank you, Steve. And so, That's why our office is called Chiropractic First. So check us out on our website, chiropracticfirst.ca. You can email us any questions, comments, if you want to reserve a checkup through that website, or check us out on Facebook or YouTube at Chiropractic First Natural Health Group. So keep the questions coming. We'll be glad to give you the answers, but the story is right here. The proof is in the pudding. Just trust in your body and the faith that God's put in you to heal yourself. And when we help the nervous system, your body can do amazing things. So we look forward to seeing you. Have a great day. Take care. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Freddy. Thank, the, the, thank you to, to all the staff. And we are glad that we find you. And we're thank thankful you. for you, thank too. You. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, okay.